Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you how to make a fry slash breeding box for your fish. You can use a storage container, but I'm going to be using this. Now this is, I'm pretty sure it's a quarter gallon uh, beta tank that you can get. I'm going to be using this and I'm just going to be drilling some holes in it. Now this drill bit, I'm not quite sure what the size of it is. It's the smallest drill bit that I have. Oh, so nothing fancy. I'm just gonna put random holes. Don't drill your finger. I'm just going to take a washcloth and I'm going to get all those sharp little pieces off of this tank and then I'll rinse it after I'm done. But you want to make sure you do this because of the little plastic pieces. You don't want to cut your fish. Um, you definitely don't want to cut your snails because your snails will um, be crawling all over this whenever it's in the tank. Because that's what they do. But you don't want to use sandpaper or anything like that because um, you'll end up scratching the tank. And just rinse it off really well to get the plastic off of it and then just place it in the tank. Now what you want to do to attach the fry box, because this is obviously very important, if you do not attach it then it's just going to end up sinking because of all the holes in it. Use a bobby pin and I know you know you may or not, may not have these but most likely you do have these or you know, you can just use string or just anything really to hold this up. Um, you just have to be kind of creative. I put up, put this bobby pin right here. Take your bobby pin, flip it like this. You're going to open your bobby pin up, place it right here. Make sure it doesn't get away from you. <laughs> Push it down, so then it's like this, kind of at a 90 degree angle. And then you're just going to take this side that's pointing and just bend it down. You really don't need pliers for this, you can just use your finger. And just like that, then you have this homemade clamp you can use for your fry tank. Very easy, simple. Like I said, you probably have these lying around. You see the tank has a little bit of a, of a lip, so I just placed that on the aquarium rim and then I use these so it stays in place, it's not moving because of the filter and it works. That's pretty much it for this video. That's just a very simple way that you can make a fry slash breeder box for your live bearers or for any fish really it works and that is it for today i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching please check out my instagram and subscribe